Hello, I'm Megan O'Sullivan. I'm the director of the Geopolitics of Energy project at the Harvard Kennedy School. And I'm here today with Leonardo Mogeri, who is a senior fellow with the project. And we're going to discuss his uh, new report that really focuses on some uh, revolutions in oil production. So with that, welcome, Leonardo. Thank you, Megan. I would uh, like to begin by just asking you what is the big takeaway from your report? How does it differ from the other conversations that have been happening in the energy domain over the last couple of years? Well, first of all, the, there is a, a astonishing growth of production worldwide, uh, which can provoke also a collapse of oil prices in the next few years. And this is the result of a study which I based on a field-by-field -field analysis of what's happening to all investments in the world. And so it's something unique because no other study focuses on this kind of analysis. Let me just make sure I understand this. So in addition to what the world is already producing today at 90 plus million barrels, you're anticipating an additional 17.5 coming in under what time period? Yes, uh, to today, yes, you're correct. And to 2020, the world's production capacity could be more than 1 hundred and ten million barrels per day as against 93 million barrels per day uh, today. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about um, your methodology. Because I'm aware that you have put forward information that has not yet been in the public domain. Yes, because basically I use a, a huge proprietary database made of all the fields, existing fields in the world, oil fields in the world, and I made a field-by-field -field analysis of all investments underway in the world uh, concerning all these fields. And I considered the targeted production from all these investments. And then I made my assumption about risk factors, depletion, reserve growth, and all these things. So it's a kind of bottom-up analysis that is very unique because usually these kind of studies are based on uh, macroeconomic, econometric models and not on the reality of the bottom-up production on the way. Mm -hmm. So that's what's unique in my study. I think most Americans at this point have, he have heard of shale gas, but not everyone knows much about shale oil. And your report really does a deep dive into the shale oil in North America. Can you tell us a tiny bit about your findings? Yes, the findings are impressive because what's happening in North Dakota in particular, in the, the back end and three forks formations, a big Titled formation, which is called a shale, but is, is, is a matter of fact, is a titled formation. And in Eagle Ford in Texas, is the is the is the is the, is, is the beginning of a big revolution. The probably the biggest revolution that we have seen in the oil industry since decades. And what's happening is that starting from virtually zero in 2010, production in these two states alone is already overcoming or is, is quite overcoming one million barrels per day of completely new oil from nothing, which is incredible by any standard. And, uh, and because of the combination of this new technology, of these technologies that are not new, but the combination is new, that are horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing, the possibility to, to exploit all the shale and tidal plays existing in the United States, there are, there are plenty of these plays in the country, and uh, open up a new era for the United States. And by 2020, thanks to the evolution of production from shale and tidal, the United States could be the second oil producer in the world after Saudi Arabia. And of course, there is another big consequence is that. Uh, if uh, I'm right and this production is, uh, is, is making its way on the market, we will face sooner or later, uh, later a collapse of oil prices. Mm -hmm. And depending on the timing of this collapse, the consequences could be short-term consequences or long-term consequences. It seems appropriate to end on the issue of price, so thank you for talking with me today about your study, and I look forward to many people having the opportunity to read it and comment on it. Thank you, and thank you for all the support you gave me for, for this study. Thank you.